Hi guys, I'm really excited to be showing you how to make my boneless bites. They're one of my most popular recipes and I absolutely love them. To make my boneless bites, I have some chicken cubed and then I'm going to coat it almost like you would if you were using breadcrumbs. But what I have here is some almond flour with coconut flour and a tiny bit of salt and pepper. I'm going to begin by taking the piece of chicken and coating it in the egg and then popping it into the flour mixture. A really good tip when you're doing this is to use one hand for the egg and then another for the breadcrumb and it just stops you getting all sticky. So once your chicken is nicely coated in the almond flour mix, you're ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 200 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes until the chicken is fully cooked and the crumbs are nice and golden. So when they're halfway through cooking, if you just take them out of the oven and then flip them over so that they'll fully cook on both sides. The reason I've used a wire rack for this is to make sure that they don't stick. Once you flip them over, they're ready to go back into the oven for about another eight minutes until they're nice and crispy and cooked through. In the meantime then, I'm going to get going on the sauce. So the key ingredient to this is Frank's hot sauce. It's one of my favorite things. I put it on absolutely everything. And the best part of it is that it's made with virtually no ingredients. Just some cayenne pepper, a little bit of vinegar and some water. So you wanna use about a quarter cup. You can free pour this if like me, you love it. And then to that, I'm gonna add some clarified butter or ghee that I've melted down. Or if you prefer to use grass-fed butter, Kerrygold is perfect. So then you just wanna mix the two together and once the chicken is cooked, I'm gonna to toss them in it. And then you're pretty much done. So once the chicken is fully cooked and nice and golden, you're good to go. Literally, all you have to do is pick them up and toss them in the sauce. Then I'm gonna serve them with some celery and you can do a little bit extra of the sauce as well if you wanna have some for dipping. See, so here you have my absolute favorite clean boneless bites. For the full details on this recipe and loads more, head over to thewonkysfascia.com.